Say it's all right. Say it's all right. It's all right. Have a good time. Cause it's all right. Oh, it's all right. Now we gotta move it slow. When the lights are low. When you move it slow. It feels like more, cause it's alright, whoa, it's alright. I kinda listen to the beat, and kinda tap your feet, yeah, yeah. If you got soul, everybody knows that it's alright, whoa, it's alright. When you wake up early in the morning, Feeling sad like so many of us do. Uh -huh, the little soul and make life your goal. And surely something's gotta come to you. You gotta say it's alright. Say it's alright. Yeah, baby. Say it's alright. Have a good time. Cause it's alright. Whoa, it's all right. Everybody clap your hands. And give yourself a chance. If you got soul, everybody knows that it's all right. Whoa, it's all right. And someday I'll find me a woman who will love and treat me real nice. When my road has got to go, my love she will know From morning, noon, until the night And she's got to say That it's alright That it's alright Say it's alright Have a good time Cause it's alright Whoa, it's alright if you got soul, everybody knows that it's all right. Whoa, it's all right. Hi, my name is Gravity Groove. I'm the Not Safe for Work Magic, and it is kind of all right. It's uh, day 15 or so, day 16. I lose count of uh, surgery recovery. And we're still chugging right along, folks. Today, we are going to be playing a little bit of standard. Our uh, our Amigo Quick Draft has shuffled off this mortal coil, and we must wait eagerly for his return. Until then, we're going to goof around with the things that we have. Uh, again, we have a relatively tight budget, and uh, as a result of not having um, what I would say is a rollicking fan base, uh, or streaming directly, we can't buy all the cards we want so we're trying to play decks that are mostly around cards we already own Asper Doom is one of those archetypes uh, there is an update that Gucci talked about in the last couple weeks and uh, this is mostly it we are missing the um, the fourth Amarius Call because we only own three and we're running two Conqueror's Death instead of four because I feel like the field is a lot lower to the ground and it just doesn't seem like it's going to be a card that's going to come into uh, being important as much. We also have eight of the flip lands. We are missing uh, four of the other. We replaced them with a split of Temple of Deceit and Temple of Enlightenment. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put another Conqueror's Death in the sideboard. Because it could come in important. Um, this stuff is just, uh, again, replacements. Shark Typhoon seems fine. His main version did not have Apprentice, or Apparition in the main, and he had uh, Raven's Crimes. I think Raven's Crime? Raven's Warning? Um, we don't own those, and it's a rare, so we've, you know, made a substitution uh, of a card that costs the same, but, you know, is pretty, uh, pretty uniformly good. Pretty uniformly okay. We're going to give this a shot and see if we can win a game or two. This is not my favorite archetype. I don't tend to like Yorian piles that much. 
Uh, I played Yorian Piles for a while, and I just got really bored of them. But we have the cards for it. The deck I want to play the most is the Croxa deck, but the Croxa deck is in a pretty bad position these days. It just loses to a lot of the field, and uh, it seems like that often happens to my boy. It's the deck I want to play, and it's just never favored. I suppose classic Rakdos sack could be fine. That's like a happy medium. Well, that's profoundly awful. That's pretty bad, too. Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. So this should be fairly good against Mono White. It's not going to, you know, break the game or anything, but it should be fairly good. If he has the Nut open, which is uh, Luminarch Ascension. Blue? Okay. Uh... Okay, don't really know what's going on here. It's the throaty singer. Hoping for no negate here. Okay, so this is a flying deck with selfless savers, saviors in it. That counter spell probably kills us, though. That was, uh... Really, really premium counter spell there. Skyclave doesn't feel great. Um, I think we really want a a sweeper. But I don't know if we can bin it. It does still potentially remove a flyer in a way that the selfless savior doesn't get to interact with. And I think this deck goes for like a big, uh, like indestructible creature, it like taps its flyers or something to summon an indestructible creature. It's been ages since I played against an archetype that looks like it might be like this. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's definitely going to make our apparition better. He has another counter spell here that would actually be great. Um, both of these seem excellent. Sure. So now we'll have the mana to attempt to remove this twice, which we're probably going to need. Okay, or not. Um, uh -huh. and probably just apparition. blocker. We cannot Yorion currently. Well, we can Yorion, but it doesn't come. It's just a big flyer. Um, I'd say it's probably fine. If he wants to counter it, go ahead. The Doom Foretold is more important. Weird. 
definitely dying in the air pretty fast, folks. Yep. Now if he counterspells the Orion, we're in a lot worse of shape. Okay, so now we can... Oh, we can only do one or the other. We can only do one or the other. I guess we Doom Foretold. We've only got one black. Fuck! Shit! sucks. So many counter spells, folks. So, so, so many counter spells. Um, Conqueror's Death seems like it's not going to do a lot for us. Shark Typhoon seems fine. Bartha Miletus does basically nothing. to a pretty mediocre start. I do not think we are well set up for a tempo matchup. Our cards are just too expensive. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. If he counters the Omen of the Sun, we just get to get him with Extinction Event, I guess? Either way, we're killing a creature, so it's fine. That's pretty good. Even odd odd. 
mod. Well, that's a lot of land. Another one? Fucking hell. God, I fucking hate tempo decks. Uh -huh. They despise tempo decks. I remember when this was the deck, when there was that, like, one mana enchantment that, uh, you put on things and if you strike and draw a card. They're just so insanely fucking annoying. Okay. So odd. Fucking annoying. We essentially haven't been able to do anything here. Probably dead. Probably dead. Just too much pressure. Um. So we can Yorion here. Potentially get countered. Yeah, I think it's just YOLO at this point. We would have seen one of our Archons that would have been good in these these sort of games.
Let me just go. Heartless Act? And. Um. Man, we got no way to get rid of this fucking treacherous blessing, huh? Feels like we're just dying to the treacherous blessing. black left. That's great. Wow. That was miserable. That was just profoundly miserable. Nice to run into an absolutely unwinnable matchup as my first matchup with this deck. Very, very fun. Gotta remember to just nope out of matches like this. I know I'm not going to have any fun. I know it's just going to make me unhappy. But I don't have to play it. I can just not play it. The matchup matrix is not always our friend, folks. Oftentimes it hates us. I mean, we drew decent. There was a game to be played there. We just weren't ever winning it. Again. God, can we face a deck that isn't counter counter spells? Just mono counter spells? That would be fucking dandy. We could face a deck that wasn't just mono counter spells. lucky. So now we just nuke the Loris, stick Doom Foretold.
now I think he's just dead. Oh, he's got a games. He, he had a games off the top. No. Okay. No land, huh? Well. We know we can counterspell basically anything we cast. So we could flash something in. Okay. is definitely too many Orions. We've got nothing else to cast here. We still don't have Temple White. <laughs> sure. Counter me, bro. Started. Many fucking cards. He don't listen. He's gonna keep drawing all the cards. Fucking Lord, man. Seriously, just infinity cards. Ridiculous. in this deck somewhere. Sure. Is that all this deck does? Is draw cards? Does it do anything else? Is there like a plan B? Literally just draw cards and pass. I don't get it.
Alright. <laughs> this fucking deck, man. Um. We've got one left. The most important card to stick anyway is uh, probably Dance of the Mance. Or Amirius Call. I guess this only kills uh, Rune Crab right now. I believe we have one Yorian left. We probably just naked cast this so that we can see their hand. Just use it as a suspend duress. That's fine. So we are weakening uh, Agims if this sticks, which is good. I think that's fine. And this will tell us what the uh, what the field looks like the games here would be really really good for him since we have no answer I believe we have two more yeah I believe we have two more uh, extinction events oh just one more Tried to trick me. Do. All right. So he's essentially out of tricks. That's pretty good for us. Four. Oh, 
Okay. Cool. That's pretty good. Thirteen cards left in this entire deck. Well, not bad. So now we can dance in the manse. Uh, eight. Treacherous, Doom Foretold, Omen, Doom Foretold, Doom Foretold, <laughs> sure. I don't think I've ever cast this for this before. Definitely do it. Mystic seems good. Shark Typhoon seems good. Duress seems good. Elspeth seems bad. Doom Foretold seems kinda bad. Gate seems pretty great. Got a blessing. Bartha Miletus does literal nothing. Um, huh. Cling makes their cards worse. Shatter is a little bit better than Extinction Event. Just go for Omen this turn. We just go for Omen this turn. Hope to hit an untapped land. You could just have us on the draw though. There's an untapped land. Gives us somewhere to the sun. Sure.
about half the deck so far. I think that means we only have one Auspice uh, Nightmare left. I guess we want another black source here. in the wheels. We're really just looking for a sweeper if at all possible. which is our good discard. It's pretty irritating. You just let this go because you have Loris. Um, Temple Hagrid's Mauling. Or Island. Haven't gotten any cards to be able to look at his hand. Really, really brutal. Uh, huh. Maybe we're just Hagrid's mauling this turn. A single board wipe yet. One dance of the Nance is down though. We need another white here. Just have not drawn well, folks. Not drawn well. Huh. Well, that sucked and was extremely one sided. Need to draw better. 
kind of wish we had a couple Skyclave apparitions so that we could actually pressure them. Maybe there should be Skyclave apparitions in the sideboard of this. I hope we dig into a black source, but uh, we probably can. Oh boy. So I got to play two games with this deck, and they were both control matchups, which I hate. So that's awesome. Uh -huh. uh, there's a black source, but we probably just want the fabled. We got odd odd here. We're gonna go for removing the crab, I guess. Cool. Get another black source. This gives us Yorion, Kling, and then uh, we need an untapped source. We should have played this. We need an untapped source to be able to Extinction or Archon and Negate. Um, damn it. Matchups are basically exactly the same as the uh, the white blue tempo deck. We just uh, can't do anything because they're so they're so much better at getting under us. Like we can't cast any of our spells. Uh, so creature card, gain three life, otherwise draw a card. Sure, let's gain three life. Well, 
You could try to cast this. Get a counter spell out of their hand. This just seems like the more important card to, to stick. We don't have anything to activate it at the moment. fun. Just not having fun, folks. Oh, boy. Wow, this was a real miserable uh, series of games. Playing against counterspell decks is just the thing I hate the most in life. And what we got was an hour of the thing I hate most in life. Uh, for future reference on this channel, whether I'm playing ranked or not ranked, if I'm in a match against a deck that just says no to everything I do, I'm just going to concede. Uh, I'm just not interested in those kind of matchups, and I know that's a valid style of play, and uh, I'm not I'm not knocking that. It's just that I don't enjoy my time being wasted. I don't enjoy uh, playing against prison decks where I essentially can't resolve any spells. So that's not me playing Magic. That's me watching you play Magic, and I barely even do that when there's you know televised events with other pro players so uh yeah kind of a miserable day not the greatest for uh for our hero here but i'm gonna soldier on and uh go kill myself off screen and um yeah maybe you'll see me tomorrow maybe you'll see my ghost uh, my name is gravity groove thanks so much for sticking through this miserable fucking episode seriously all people who cast counter spells should eat shit and uh maybe i'll see you next time <laughs> adios